Hello everyone and welcome to a video I've been putting off making for a while because I'm stubborn and don't like to admit things to myself. Uh, Thoughts per episode classic Doctor Who edition is unfortunately going on hiatus for a little while, not forever. I know a lot of people have subscribed to this channel purely for Thoughts per episode classic Doctor Who edition um, and it sucks to make a video saying hey the, the most popular thing on my channel is going away for a while purely because my brain sucks. Um, but the fact of the matter is I have a really shit attention span, as you may be able to notice when looking through my backlog of videos. It actually isn't something that I'm just like, oh, you know, this isn't an excuse. I'm not like, oh, I actually don't like classic Doctor Who, but I was forcing myself to make it. It's nothing like that. When I watch it, I enjoy it. When I make the videos, I enjoy making them. But when it comes to long projects, Basically, the way my brain works is I I have a habit of like a moth to a flame being attracted to the idea of really long creative projects because I am never able to see them through. I think I probably have some form of ADHD. I should probably go and get myself diagnosed at some point. I don't really know if I'd want to do anything about it if I did, which is the reason why I haven't. Um, but really, I have trouble sticking to long-term projects to the point where it feels like self-sabotage and I can get really down on myself about it. But to keep it relevant, uh, <laughs> because I was going to make this video like a week ago and then I got into a depressive spiral. So that's why it's taken me so long to make this video. But to keep it short and sweet, um, I do plan on going back to watch more classic Doctor Who. And when I do, I will obviously be making videos talking about it. But I try tried to force it a couple of weeks ago and luckily I only watched uh, one episode so I can go back and redo that later when uh, when the interest strikes me again. So I'm hoping if you like you may stay subscribed uh, to see those future videos come out. I don't know how long it'll be, months, maybe like a year or two, <laughs> I don't know. Actually a good example would be if you saw my blurble reasoning for the Wheel of Time series. Um, there was like maybe a seven or eight month gap between books. Part of that was just me reading the book but part of that was me losing interest in going to other things and then eventually coming back to it. Something I talked about a lot in that video is how I'm going to read a uh, book in that series every other book instead of just trying to face roll the entire series. I think that might be something I do with classic Doctor Who as well. Uh, obviously we're kind of halfway through season two right now but I'm thinking maybe when I finish a season I take a break I watch something else but if you are interested uh, more in the person than the content, then I am doing a uh, thoughts per episode currently on House of a Dragon as it is weekly. It wasn't meant to replace classic Doctor Who, but it kind of has. I also will be doing blurble reasonings, which is basically thoughts per episode or thoughts on videos, but just for books. Uh, I will be doing those uh, not just for the Wheel of Time books, but for, you know, books in between. I'm currently reading through Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. So there will be more uh, kind of like podlet themed uh, content coming to the channel. If not, I don't know if it's still possible to subscribe to playlists. It used to be. You might want to see if that's an option for you. But yeah, I'm hoping you'll stick around. I don't blame you if you don't. There will be more thoughts per episode classic Doctor Who edition, but it won't be for a while, I am afraid. I wish my brain didn't work this way, but it does, and I should just be honest and put it out there. Thank you so much for listening, and hopefully I will see you in a future video.